Hey, welcome back to the channel. So by far the two pieces of gear that I have that I use the most are my M1 14 inch MacBook Pro and my M1 iPad Air. Today I wanted to talk about using those two fantastic pieces of equipment together and setting up your iPad Pro as a second display for your Mac. Now the great thing is that you don't need any additional software for this. You just use uh, capabilities of Mac OS and iPad OS called Sidecar. You can do this wirelessly and with a USB-C cable. I personally have had better luck with the USB-C cable. I've had a little bit of delays and some disconnects with just doing it over Wi-Fi, but with the USB-C cable, it works great. To get this going, it is super easy. As long as you're signed into the same iCloud account on your iPad Pro as you are on your Mac, you should just see it show up. If you click on Control Center and then you go to Screen Mirroring, you should see it in there. Um, if you don't have that option, you can also go to Settings, Displays, and then down at the bottom, you should be able to add a display and see it show up in there. All you need to do is select that iPad and it'll set it up as a second display on your Mac. If you like this kind of video, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I put up new videos every Saturday and Wednesday, so this way you'll get notified when one of those goes up. Now there's a few things that are useful about this setup. Number one, you can mirror your display over to your iPad and then use your Mac apps with the touch screen on the iPad. This is where it really comes in handy doing it wirelessly because you can kind of sit around the house and use your Mac apps on your iPad, uh, just kick back on the couch or something. It actually works pretty well. Again, sometimes there's a little delay with the Wi-Fi, but that works pretty well. By far, the way that I use it the most is with kind of a traditional dual screen setup. I have a case on my iPad Pro that has kind of a kickstand on it. I set that up next to my MacBook Pro. I turn this on, set up that iPad as a second display, not as a mirrored display, and then I can drag my applications back and forth between them. I frequently do that. I'll have uh, videos up on the, the one screen while I'm doing research and taking notes on the other screen or vice versa. Sometimes I'll use this while I'm editing and I'll move my timeline off to the iPad and then just have my MacBook screen as a larger display for the video. Anything you wanna do that you would normally do with a dual screen works well with this. There's a few options that you can set up with this. You can set up a touch bar on that iPad and then you can also set up the sidebar. The sidebar just has some shortcuts like a command key and a couple of other uh, keys that you may want to use. That's really useful if you're using it wirelessly away from your Mac. Uh, that way you have access to some of those command keys that you might need. So that's about all there is to it. It's a super easy setup. It, everything's built into iPad OS and Mac OS. You don't need any extra software. Like I said, you do get better performance with that wired connection. So you might wanna just carry around a USB-C cable in your bag. That's what I do. I have an extra cable in my bag. And then I, uh, when I'm on the go, I can just throw my MacBook Pro in there, my iPad Pro, and wherever I am, I have a great dual screen setup. Hopefully you found that useful or informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified when I put up some more videos. If you have any questions on anything I went over, leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.